Hello guys, it's Romano here from Crypto Nash and I just wanted to make a short video um, on the 38 million um, staking bug that is currently affecting uh, Embercoin which the developers are um, aware of and they're actually working on fixing at the moment. So if you are not aware of the uh, 38 million um, staking bug or if you have heard of it but not sure how it works the 38 million staking bug is effectively a bug that adversely affects your um, your staking weight once the weight has gone over 38 million. So when I say staking weight, I'm not referring to your overall wallet staking weight, which is what you see when you hover your mouse over the flame, um, which mine is currently 17.7 million. The staking weight is actually um, related to um, each individual input into your wallet. So um, I'm going to have a look at the inputs um, by clicking on that button there. If you can't see that button there, um, the, the way you do that is by going to settings options um, and in display you want to click on display coin control features only. Once you've clicked that, click apply and OK. Um, and that will then um, show you this inputs button here. If you click on that inputs button, and if I go to list mode, you'll see that I have five different inputs in my wallet, ranging between about 7.2 million and about 10.6 or almost 11 million uh, coins in each one of those inputs. Now, this is where the 38 million bug actually um, it works on. So let's look at my top input there, which is about 7.3 million um, coin. So that stake input is currently about um, three days old because it's been in there since the uh, 17th. So, uh, you know, that stake is currently um, probably about 3.2, sorry, 20, 21, 22 million um, in weight at the moment. So how I get to that weight is by actually taking that number, that 7.39 million, um, and multiplying that by the amount of days, so three days there, and I then get my staking weight for that individual input. So it's amount times day staking. That's how you get to your staking weight. If that number is higher than 38 million, so let's say I had this 10.3 stack over here, 10.6 uh, stack, and if that had been staking for four days, um, my staking weight would be something like 42 million. And that would mean that I would be in that zone where actually um, the bug kicks in and my staking weight goes from positive 48 million to negative uh, 48 million. So just be aware of that. It is input size and staking weight combined. Um, um, by multiplying those two, you get your, your full staking weight. And if that's over 38 million, you're in that bug territory. So the easiest way I found to get around that is by keeping my staking weights low. So between about seven and a half to call it 11 million ish. Um, that is what I found just works for me. You can see that um, if we have a look at my wallet, I actually had two stakes today of about seven million in total. Um, and, um, and what I just always do is I just rearrange, once I've had a big stake like today, which is about seven million, I just rearrange my, uh, my inputs so that I kind of distribute them into sort of smaller piles um, of about seven to 10 million across my wallet. And each one of those inputs will then stake individually. And what I also do is, is I monitor them. So if I get back tomorrow and my 17 million um, probably hasn't staked by the end of tomorrow, I will just reset that staking weight. Now, um, people have asked, how do you reset that? Well, if I click on that input, and I purely select that um, and I click OK, I can see that then um, my uh, uh, that sort of that 7 million pile has been um, selected. If I click right click there, I can click copy off the fee, paste that into that box over there. And what I need to do here is enter my own wallet. So if I go uh, go to receive and find my wallet address, they just copy and paste my own wallet address. Um, into this um, uh, into this sort of uh, text box here. So basically what I'll be doing is I'll be sending that amount to myself and that will effectively reset the staking weight. So you know if you go into input 
that will be the same amount in your pile but it would literally just um, show that the date would have changed from the 17th to today um, but as that is only currently at about 22 million in weight I'm going to leave it for you know another two days and if it really doesn't sort of stake by then then I'll just sort of reset it to myself so the way to get around the 38 million bug is really just to um, is really just to manage your wallet uh, appropriately as you guys can see here um, every single time I do extract some money you know for instance like today um, I had two stakes one of five million one of two million um, and that's about 7.1 million combined it so I, I pulled about I pulled out about two and a half put them onto Yobit and I sort of do that quite regularly you know I always take out about half of my stake um, and sell that on, on Yobit, uh, Yobit or Cryptopia and you know that's just for two reasons one is so that I can get my return on investment um, you know even at selling at three or four Satoshis but the other reason is as well is to generate that cash and move um, that into other cryptocurrencies so um, whatever it is that I'm buying at that time so I'm just that's my investment strategy I keep half and sell half of my stake and thereby I can grow my wallet and generate some some cash flow at the same time so yeah guys that was just my uh, quick sort of how to on um, on how to fix the or at least in my experience how to get around the, the 38 million uh, staking bug um, so I hope this video helps for you guys um, yes I am still on the old wallet actually at the moment but the um, I, I'm yet to upgrade to the new wallet um, because I'm just one of those people that always you know leaves if something new comes out I'll wait a couple of weeks until any bugs are ironed out and that's just kind of how I operate um, so I will change my wallet before the October deadline or end of October deadline um, but uh, yeah the, the bug affects you whether you are on the old wallet or the new wallet it makes no difference um, yeah so anyways guys that's just my take on, um, on how to get around the uh, Embercoin um, 38 million bug until it's fixed um, it's it's just all about managing your stakes and keeping on top of it making sure you've got some some small piles um, of between 7 and 10 million um, and just check them you know every day or every other day to make sure that a particular input hasn't um, exceeded that 38 million uh, mark once it has just reset it and send it to yourself because otherwise you're just losing time anyway I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you have, please click like uh, in the description. Um, and if you like this video and dislike it, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.